I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student Tasfia. Now we have two parts to this question. Here is part two. In part one we developed equation to model the situation. The question here is Natasha is planning on going to the annual county fair in Montana. She plans on going on the famous Ferris wheel called the Swinger. The Swinger completes one rotation in 50 seconds with maximum height of 56 meters and the boarding height of 14 meters above the ground. Determine an equation to model the height of a person and part B is find the possible duration when the average rate of change in height is 1 meters per second of a person riding this wheel. And it is part 2 which we are going to discuss in this particular video. Okay, to find the average rate of change, we do need the equation of the function itself, right? So, we developed this equation in part 1. It was, uh, we can write it once again here. We know the maximum height is 56, minimum is 14. From their difference and divide by 2, we get the amplitude. If we add them up, divide by 2, we get how high the center is. And from the time period, which is 50 seconds, we know in one revolution which has two pi radians then two pi divided by 50 will give give us the k factor those of you who are doing in degrees for them it will be 360 divided by 50 and so we get our equation which uh, let me write in both forms so that as convenient to you you can use any one of those and find the solution to part b right so the question the equation which models this question is 21 we use minus since the wave starts from the bottom right so minus cosine of uh, let me write straight value so that you can you know it becomes easy to correlate plus 35 or you could also write this equation in degrees which is minus 21 cos of 360 degrees divided by 50 right times t this is in degrees plus 35 you get 35 by adding 56 and 14 and dividing by 2 the average height and you get the amplitude by taking the difference and then dividing by 2 so simple as that so you get this part now Find the possible duration when the average rate of change in height is 1 meter per second. How are you going to do this? And this is what we are going to discuss. Now, average rate of change could be uh, h of t2 minus h of t1. That means height at two different instances of time. And divided by difference of those timings, right? That is what it is. We are given this average rate of change as 1, right? So, 1 meter per second. Height is in meters, time is in seconds, so it works. So, to make the problem simpler, what we will do is we will assume T1 to be 0. So, we at least have the equation H of T2 minus H of 0 divided by T2 minus 0. Okay. Now, when time is zero what is the height so when time is zero we can always substitute zero here and we know at zero it starts from the bare minimum so the height will be 14 meters right so kind of we have one equals to h of t2 okay let me just continue writing t2 at present we could write t also minus 14 right that is the height to start with over t2 correct now the idea is to find t2. So that should be the second time. So the duration is from initial value 0 to some time when the rate of change is 1. So we can cross multiply this and we get t2 equals to. Let me substitute t2 on this equation and then we'll work it out. We get minus 21 cos of. Okay, you could use any one of these equations. Uh, let me use the radian one. Okay, 2 pi over 50 it becomes more complicated it impresses right times t2 plus 35 good job now we have one equation which relates time so there's only one variable since there is only one variable we could always solve this equation bring this do some manipulation 
solve this equation and find the value of t2. Now, as far as I am concerned, my mathematics is slightly weaker and for me this is really a difficult question. So, I have to adopt to a different strategy altogether. Now, this doesn't really work for me. I can do trial and error, just substitute some values and figure it out. That's one way, of course. Now, what should we do? Whenever you land up with some situations which are so difficult and algebraically it becomes difficult to find a solution, you should look for graphical solution, right? And that's the whole idea of this video. So what we will do here is, uh, we know that the average rate of change is 1. So I will sketch graph of the function. You could use any one of these two, right? Minus 21 cosine 2 pi by 50 t plus 35. So let's sketch that graph. And average rate of 1 means I could draw a line over this slope of 1. Since I am taking t1 as 0, my equation will be y equals 2. At 0, the height is the minimum height of 14, right? And my slope is 1, so my equation will be x, and y intercept is 14, so x plus 14 is the equation of my straight line. You get the idea, right? So if I draw on a graph paper the function itself, and straight line then the points where the line crosses the graph will give me the two different points where the average rate of change is going to be one meters per second do you agree with me that is my approach and that is indeed very good and here is the solution without any calculation do you see that so i don't need the calculator now here is this graph which represents the height of a person with time right so in 50 seconds, one complete revolution is done. That makes sense. Is that okay? Minimum height is 14. That is the minimum. The maximum is 56. Okay, this is the maximum. Right? And this line which I've drawn is y equals to x plus 14. Right? Since it starts with y-intercept of 14, right? And has a slope of 1 unit. As you can see, if I consider any two points on this line, average rate of change is going to be 1, right? Units are meters per second. You see, rise of meters run in seconds. You get the idea, right? So, from the graph, I get these points. Do you get the idea? So, that is how easy it could be at times. But if I am working on that equation, uh, I don't know really how to go about from here so I have to stop there and I come back to this graphical solution it is normally the best way of solving questions you may not get very accurate results but at least you get some idea right so from the scale I can see this value is half of 12.5 I can use the calculator at this time well it seems to be half of 12 is 6 6.25 Right. So the second point could be at 6.25, correct? So my solution is that the time could be from, uh, the interval is from t equals to 0 to t equals to um, 6.25. Okay, so that is what it is. So my timings are t1 is 0 for me and t2 is 6.25. If I consider these two points, then I'm going to get approximately 1 meters per second as my average rate of change. So, so that is my answer. And I found this answer using a graph. I hope you appreciate this approach. So there are times when, when you should look forward for such a solution, right? Now, another question for you is, Okay, so we did average rate of change. Now, in part C, in part C, that is the next video, we will consider instantaneous rate of change. So, we'll change this word to instantaneous rate of change. And now my question to you is, find the possible instance of time when the instantaneous rate of change in height of a person is 1 meters per second. Mind it instantaneous rate of change of a person is one meter per second so it's up to you you have now ideas you could either go for algebraic equation or for a graphical solution 
but let me know if uh, you have some ideas about it. Thank you and all the best.